Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you guys can make a decision on which comics to buy. So guys, today we're going to be talking about what if Age of Ultron issue number one. Now guys, you're probably wondering, holy crap Mike, are you seriously buying this and reviewing this? Uh, last time I remember, uh, it was all over the place and it was a big cluster fuck. Yeah, that's right. And that's pretty much what Age of Ultron was towards the end. And it had everyone's head scratching and what was going on. But just like uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, I got the What If series to that too. Uh, so I said, hey, why not? I'll give this one a try. Um, this book is written by Joe Kiedich, and the art is done by Raphael, I can't say his last name, and Nico, if that's, his, if that's pronounced, pronounced, pronounced right. Now, the artwork uh, in this book um, is maybe not my uh, favorite taste of artwork. I feel that um, it is dark, which it should be. I mean, it's the age of Ultron. It's the time where Ultron is in complete control of the world. He has basically taken over and um, and there's no people left. So uh, I can see it being dark. Uh, it does shine in certain moments, especially when it does show Ultron. I think when it comes to uh, Hank Pym being drawn and maybe uh, Janet being drawn in here, um, I think it could have been a little bit better, uh, but I did like the artwork. There was nothing wrong with it. It, it. it really didn't deter me and say, oh my God, I can't stand this artwork. So I, I, I did enjoy it for what it was. Uh, so what did I think of this particular story? Uh, well, in the introduction, the first page of this book, it does a great job of kind of recapping what happened in the Age of Ultron, like how Iron Man died and his, his basic uh, reasoning behind you know, why we just don't time travel because there's consequences to it. And it shows what happens to the universe when you do screw with time travel. Um, it shows Wolverine going through that time flux, like everything that happened to him in his past. It shows Galactus, you know, crossing into the ultimate universe and created the whole thing. And, you know, the end of the ultimate universe, uh, it shows uh, right here, um, you know, this timeline where Angela crossed into the Marvel Universe. Um, and, and so it shows all those different things. Uh, so it shows that there's a consequence here. Um, in this book, it, it flashes back real briefly to when um, everything changed. Uh, Hank Pym's talk, talking with Janet, and she experiences the, the timeline uh, of everything happening if, if Ultron was to take over or or things of that nature because everything got so screwed up and it goes to a time of 25 years in the, in the future on Hank Pym dealing with Ultron being in control of the universe if he took over and basically what happens uh, is that it's his home base is in this big hole in, in Russia which is pretty crazy uh, but to keep his sanity uh, he writes to Janet every single day, and um, he is constantly looking for Ultron, trying to find some kind of way to stop Ultron because it's it's he's it's his passion, it's what he is, it's his life, it's the only thing left uh, that he has going for him. And he tells the story of, of what happened, how he's the last Avenger, and uh, you know. How he feels the pressing need to go on, and it relives all these flashbacks. And now, as he's, you know, telling his story, and as he's come across these Ultrons, you think that Ultron is this, and you think that Ultron, you know, each each time he comes across Ultron, it's evolved a little bit. You think that Ultron is this or just this, uh, but it's a little bit more, a little bit more high tech, and it, you see a whole bunch of Ultrons coming out of the original creation. And then as time goes along, uh, you see there's a whole bunch of Ultrons like we witnessed in the original comic. And uh, you see out of this, this main hole that was made by Russia to go to the center of the Earth to study, you know, Earth, 
Uh, we see that this big giant Ultron is living in there, this caterpillar Ultron. And you see this dialogue from Hank Pym going, whoa, this is new. But as he's exploring all these different Ultrons, this is actually Ultron always evolving, um, which was, which was kind of neat. Uh, and then when you get towards the end of the issue, you wind up seeing that there's this central core Ultron. And it's this big giant hand that's coming out and it has all these little, little itsy bitsy, little teeny weeny Ultrons all around him. And it, you can see that he is the core of Earth now, that he's in charge of Earth. And there is no human life except Hank Pym. And Hank Pym is the only one person remaining. And what happens to Hank Pym in the end is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that for you. I'm going to leave that as a cliffhanger uh, to let you maybe purchase this issue uh, because it's quite interesting to see what Ultron does uh, with Hank Pym. So all in all, I thought the issue was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't the best issue. Uh, it looks like these are going to be individual stories because when I went to the end of this, it said end. So I think it's going to be focusing on a particular character each time uh, this series is presented to you, not like the event. Uh, so it's going to go, what if Age of Ultron, and it's going to be Janet, or Age of Ultron, and it's going to be Wolverine, or, or anybody who else that was in the Age of Ultron, maybe Iron Man or whatnot. Uh, so because it just ended here with Hank Pym. Uh, so in the end, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five stars. It was kind of lack lush, luck, lusterous a little bit, but it's interesting to see what happens. So guys, as always, leave me your comments below. What you thought of this issue? If you read it, did you pass it up? Did you say screw anything that has to do with Age of Ultron? And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider-Slayer signing off. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.